Good morning, everybody. This is the Hammer Nero Salt Smith. Alright. Already an update on the uh, WE Commander Gas Blowback Airsoft Pistol, which is full metal. Um, it's uh, Gen 4 on the cost of Gen 5, I believe. And uh, not long after I did the review, I went out of my way and uh, stripped down the high kappa and took the commander hammer out and I hand fitted the commander hammer to the commander pistol. How I did that was a simple job. You disassemble the pistol down to the point where you can take the group safety out. Then when you, uh, well actually you should fully disassemble the gun. I almost lied to you there. I'm still waking up. Forgive me. Um, you fully shove the pistol down. Install the hammer. It's a drop fit. It's WE. I mean, it'll work. As you see here. And, um, then you fit it. And then you, you put the pistol back together to the point where you're able to just fit this when you need to. Uh, the grip safety. And then, uh, you cock the hammer and you'll come to find that the hammer will only cock uh, to half cock. That was me checking the magazine before I did anything. There's no magazine in there. But it is one round in the chamber, so... Okay. Um, right. <clears throat> Excuse me. You'll see, yeah, that... It won't even go into full cock because the beaver tail will have too much of a, a hump here. So you have to file just the top part down. And you'll see here, not the best job, but it's a, it's a fine job. Yeah, and then I put a, a Birchwood Casey's Aluminum Black on there. So, uh, you gotta test fit it, right? So, every now and then you take some off, you see if you can fully cock the hammer. When you can fully cock the hammer, you're not in the clear yet. You need... <coughs> God, excuse me. <laughs> you need a little gap underneath for when you go and test fit the slide. Because of the slide, this is what happened to me, because I haven't done this in so long. Um, the hammer would fit and cock and everything fully. But then when I put the slide on, it wouldn't ride over the hammer correctly. So you need to make sure you have a little bit of space there. So that way when the hammer engages with the slide, you can see the hammer move ever so slightly. You see that? So you need that space. Okay. Um, and, the, and that's it. Pretty much. You know, you gotta, you gotta, every time you take a file to something... You gotta keep test fitting it. You never want to take too much off. Because whatever you take off, you can't take back. You know, put back on, you know what I mean? Learn that from, uh... Well, I knew that, but the, the saying, I learned that from Wazoosh Custom. Dude's a freaking... Pioneer when it comes to Tokyo Mori airsoft guns. He knows his stuff. Alright, so... But there you have it, there's a short little clip on how I did that. Um, I know some of you would probably prefer me to show you how to do that, but it was a spontaneous thing, and honestly, doing work like that on camera, I know it's possible, but it could be a real pain in the ass sometimes, because uh, you never know how long it's going to take. So, but... The hammer looks absolutely fantastic on here, as it should, because it's made for it, hence the name, Commander Hammer. And I gotta say, man, um, yeah, and everything works, by the way, everything is great, otherwise I wouldn't be doing this video. The half cock works, okay, safeties work, okay, and I like how it has more of a soft bang up against the Allen key back, I mean the Allen screw back there. 
because uh, the spur hammer, I guess, is heavier. So with the inertia hitting that, with the weight just smacking up against that, and where this is more skeletonized. And I love for something about this hammer. I know this has more of a positive click, and the hammer can be easily dropped. And I believe this here. I'm about to mention is uh, I believe a Gen 4 thing and up to Gen 5 where the hammer seems to be much less gritty and easier to uh, to drop if you want to safely drop the hammer see how easy that is and if you guys have been watching my videos long enough you'll know that certain guns like the WE Desert Warrior which is a Gen 4 but <clears throat> For some reason, the hammer, I would try to drop it like you see me doing here without any effort. And this is the way it should be. Pretty easy, right? But for some reason, oops, as I say that, right? <laughs> for some reason, with the, like the Desert Warrior, for example, it's like really gritty and it will al almost always get stuck there at the half cock. So I would just end up making sure it was completely empty just for safety precautions. Because just because it's airsoft and there's one in and around doesn't mean it's safe. I mean, technically it does, but you always want to practice safety precautions as if it's a real steel. That's what these are for. To simulate. <clears throat> they're not like toys, they're not BBMs. I mean, even BBMs, like anything, anything really that shoots a projectile, you should treat with respect and the safety that... It, it requires but yeah very gritty hammer drop with the desert warrior but that is just real nice so actually I'll correct myself now I believe the really soft trigger drop smooth trigger drop it could be I mean a hammer drop it could either be from the hammer actually or it could be um the fact that it's on the cusp of Gen 5, it might be more of a Gen 5 thing. I don't know. I don't know everything about these, but I'm just gathering from what I've learned and what I've read and stuff like that. Alright guys, uh, way to go to me to drag out a short video <laughs> of useless knowledge. And uh, so, now it's three things that are not stuck about this pistol anymore. Mean spring housing. MU grips, commander hammer, and now, now it's starting to look a lot like uh, Pete, uh, Pete's old commander, Colt commander, from uh, back in the day, Pete from the Army Channel. If you look at his older videos, you'll see a Colt commander like that looks a lot like this actually. <laughs> um, it's got the hammer. I think the sights may be a little bit higher, but the serrations are the same, everything's the same, the grips are just about the same, except he's got the Cole emblem here instead of WE, of course. And he doesn't have a bull barrel. It was a standard GI barrel. And, um, he, uh, polished the bushing. Kind of like a Springfield Armory Range Officer, or like a Les Bear. I think the Les Bear boss is, or the Les Bear, um, I don't know, one of the Les Bears have the polished but you can do that to any of them so it doesn't really matter all right guys thanks a lot for watching um i appreciate it you guys taking the time to watch these videos um, i haven't really producing a lot of uh their self stuff lately but hope you guys enjoy this have a good day take it easy